What is up everyone, it's me Sivo and today we've got a quite a fun video to do. Uh, we're going to be doing a welcome messages with um, images. So this is going to be very fun to do and it's pretty simple to do because we're not going to be using pillow. Well, we're going to be using pillow, but it's an easier version. It's literally called easy peel. And yeah, so it makes this so much better. And with the knowledge of how you learn to do this, you can make so many other stuff. You can make user cards and whatnot. As long as you've got Photoshop to quickly paint sync. And yeah, all you have to do is just get the image and then print text on it so basically i'm gonna be showing you how you do that but first before we start all the code make sure you go over to discord developer and make sure you um uh check these intents so this one and that one you can check the bottom one if you want or to check them all but make sure you check these two the most otherwise um when your bot joins the server it will not actually work so make sure you kick the bot and then re-add it once you have done that and yeah and apart from that that is literally it all you gotta do is install easy peel so you do this by doing pip install easy and then uh dash and then peel and then it should install easy peel i think i did it wrong but i'll leave it down in the description anyway all right so let's get on to it so we're going to be using an event i'm using discord.py uh, 2.0 which is the um developer version on discord the rep rapids or something so that's why i've got intents and all that so if tank don't work on your version then i recommend going over to this version as it's a little bit better so yeah anyways let's go so we're going to do uh, at bot dot event and then we're going to do async def and then we're going to do an on member join so because we're, we're going to give a message when a member joins now we're just going to put the member in there like that now we're just going to get the channel i have seen on a few videos they don't show how to actually get the system channel so basically what this is is um let me show you so basically when you go onto your server overview basically your server settings you're going to see here it's a system message channel this is where the message will go when the bot joins so i did mine in my video too which is just a channel i'm just demonstrating it on and yeah so you can put in your welcome text channel over here so you got all these you're just going to select one of them and make sure you have and that's where the on message message will be okay now we're going to to get that though we're going to have to do channel equals member dot guild uh dot system and it's underscore channel just like that that's literally it so a background uh we're going to equal that to editor you, oh yeah i've got to mention you are going to have to import all these stuff so from this called import file and from easy pool import editor load image async and font that's literally it and once you have done that we can just get started so background equals editor so basically i've got three pictures here this is what uh, the background is going to be so we can choose any one so we've got that one we've got that one and we've got that one we're going to be using the third one because it looks a bit nicer you can do a random function so it randomizes what picture but we're not going to do that because well it's not that hard to do anyways but we're not going to do it so we're going to do pick free dot jpeg like the exact file name here and then that's just going to get the background and then we're going to do profile underscore image i'm going to get an image so we're going to wait and use the function load image sync and then we're going to put this into a string and we're going to get the avatars uh, URL. So if we do member.avatar.url, in this call.py, you do dot URL. If you're using Netscode, you do underscore URL. So just make sure you know that. And then um, we're going to do profile. So profile equals editor. And then we're going to get a profile image. And then we're going to resize it because we don't want it massive. So we're going to resize it. Make sure you put two brackets, uh, 150 to 150. And we're going to make it a circle. So we do this by doing circle image. And there we go. All right. Now we're going to add in a uh, poppins, which is basically text. Um, so poppins equals, uh, no, we're going to, uh, let's start. Yeah, let's start with normal, shall we? Poppins equals font dot poppins. So we're going to use the poppins font. And then we're going to make the size uh, around 50. You can always customize this and put it how you like because it's very customizable and pretty easy to use once you know what to do. We're going to make it a bold. And then we're going to do a popping small, poppings underscore small. And that's going to equal font dot poppings. Instead of 50, we're going to make it, let's do 20. And then variant is going to be light as it's not bold, it's just, you know, a light little text. Um, now we're going to have to paste the profile and uh, on the right position. So basically the center of this card. I did forget the aspect ratio of these cards. 
I will link it down in the description though, where you can download these and um, you can use them and put them on Photoshop and then just put sync over it. And then, um, anyways, we're going to paste it. So, background uh, dot paste. And then we're going to paste the profile. Uh, profile. And um, we're going to do it at, what was it? 3 to 5 to 90. And now we're going to do background dot eclipse so basically what we're about to do is do a circle around the profile picture so um we do three you don't have to do this but it just makes it look a little bit nicer oh nine and then we do 150 to 150 uh like that there we go all right now we're going to do an outline because you know it'd just be invisible so outline is we're going to do white and then we're going to do a stroke width of, oh, that's not easy, a stroke width, stroke width of, let's do five, why not? All right, now let's do background.text, now we need to put in the text, we're going to put this in on 400, by the way, I, I fucking remember, sorry, it does the X first and then the Y, so 400 is about center, and 260 is downwards. I think, yes. Anyways, now we're going to do uh, an f-string. We're going to say welcome to... And then we're going to do um, brackets. And we're going to do member. And we're going to get the guild.name. And then we are going to get a color. And let's just do color. No, let's just do white. Shit, I can't spell white. And make the font poppins, which we have created. Uh, you can also look at all other fonts as well if you want a different font. Um, in the documents of the, make sure you write easy peel because it's a bit different to the normal one. And then we're just going to center it like that, nice and simple. And then um, background dot text. Uh, and then we're going to do four hundred again, but this time we're going to make it down a little bit more. So we're going to do three two five. And now at this bracket, we're going to do f string. I'm going to get the member's name. Pretty simple, literally just member dot name. And then um, hashtag we're gonna get discriminator. So we do this by doing, which is the which is the numbers at the end of your name. So we do get this via dot. Just oh, I can't spell it. I need to check discriminator. There we go. All right. And then we're just gonna make the color white again. And uh, and then we're also going to give the font, but we're gonna make it small this time. So we're gonna use the pop in small. And then we're gonna obviously align it to the center center why did i say that's on mirror all right and that's basically all you have to do now we need to save the file and um and then away it and then yeah and the, the the next two bits is optional wait one bit or whatever but yeah all right file equals file we're gonna use the file function i'm gonna go fp is um equal to background uh background dot image bytes um and then we're going to do file name. And then we're just going to equal this. We're just going to give it the same name. So pick one. Just like that. And then we're going to do dot jpg. Or whatever file you have. Um, I'm also going to add another message as well. Just to say hello and blah blah blah. So um, we could just do away channel dot send. Uh, hello. Um member dot mention oh shit member dot mention and then we're gonna say uh welcome to i'm going to put an asterisk you know to make it look a little bit cool member dot guild name dot name and then we're just gonna asterisk that again and then we're gonna go and then, and then if you want to you can go for more information go to and then you can just do like hashtag rules or something or whatever so yeah now we're actually going to send the file itself which is pretty easy so await uh channel dot send and we're just going to do file is equal to file and we should be done hopefully i'm just going to save this real quick okay i just added in a bot as you see it says hello and then it's going to say um welcome to the bots go for more information Go to rules and it's going to say this the text i think i need to add a stroke onto the text if i can i think if you can do that and yeah but um 
yeah uh, i don't recommend using this kind of background <laughs> jesus christ it's a bit uh it's a bit um bright for the text but yeah but i think you can um give a stroke i'm gonna check okay i'm not exactly sure how to add a stroke um that's for you guys to figure out or watch a video on but um yeah but i used the dark image this is basically what it looks like uh blah 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 welcome to making bots that's the service name and then it puts their name underneath you could do what you want with this it's fully customizable you could maybe put the logo up here and then put loads of text down and say what role you have and blah 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 so yeah so guys i hope you enjoyed make sure you drop a like and subscribe um and yeah i'm trying to reach a thousand subs by the end of this year hopefully i could do that that'd be amazeballs and yeah so um bye bye